So last night when we were sleeping, we kept hearing Bandit barking. He got up a few different times and barked and we just assumed he heard something outside, maybe, you know, a neighbor's dog or something. But when Eric came downstairs this morning, he was greeted by a moose right by the well. This is where she was hanging out. She went to the bathroom and she was eating snow and she was walking along the driveway and eating some of those bushes. And I think it was probably, I don't really know a moose cycle, but I'm, I'm guessing she was probably like a year old. Um, she wasn't huge, but I mean, she was big enough, but it wasn't like a big adult female moose. She even left some hair for us. So we've been seeing lots of moose out lately, like dozens when we go into town, but we've yet to see a lot like on this road or where we live. There are tracks, but that was the first time seeing one where we actually on our property. So this is the area too that she ate. You can tell she ate these little branches and was stepping in there. So we are off to actually look at our new property. We, a while back we made a video on looking for land. We didn't really talk much more about it just because things with that can take a while, as you know, when you're buying a place. So we wanted to make sure everything was finalized and it is, so we're gonna go check it out. truck now and we are driving to go check the place out we got pretty lucky and it is very close to us it's probably about a 15 not even a 15 minute drive and maybe like 10 or 12 miles away all right we're just down the road from the property and we've mentioned in previous videos that there's all kinds of ways to find property here in Alaska this one was super easy I was just keeping an eye on all the real estate websites and this one popped up on Zillow and it was close to our house, so we went and looked at it ourselves, liked it, and contacted our real estate agent, and she got us some more information on it, and we decided to make an offer on it. So we are going to head in there. This is the wall that they've been pushing the snow on. We're plowing the roads. And we have been in there twice. We came through once when we were first looking at the property, and we got the okay to look at it. And then we also came back after the property surveyor had been here. So the whole property has been marked and it's virtually kind of like a square size. Really awesome. It is several feet of snow in there. So it was pretty difficult for me and Eric to get through the first time. The gentleman that did the surveyor had snowshoes. So he packed down the snow pretty nicely. So we probably should be able to follow those lines and walk you around the property. So the previous owners, they own this place since the seventies. So they don't live around here anymore. So it doesn't look like the property's been maintained at all. There's down trees and obviously no sign of maintenance at all out here. So we're gonna try to head in here. Got like a five foot wall of snow, but this is the first corner. As you can see, see all those flags. That's where the surveyor, oh yeah, it's deep. Okay, this is the first corner of the property and we're gonna head back to the back corner. All right, so we reached the, I guess this is the southeast corner of the property. And this property is right under four acres. So it's a pretty big lot and it's mostly a square. And then if you look over towards that end of the property, that's mostly the usable area. That's gonna be about an acre worth of this property is those nice birch, aspen, and spruce trees. So that's where we're gonna be putting our structure. So then to the south of us, that's another piece of property. Also to the north of us is another piece of property. The west side has the road, and then this back half to the east is all uh, Alaska state land. So that's all usable land, which is cool. So this is how deep it is if you step off the track. I think I can feel my foot on the ground. So, the reason we really like this property is because it gets a lot of southern exposure, which is pretty valuable here. 
most of the land that we're going to be working with is over there and it's treed so that's that's more of like the buildable land this right here although we don't know because the there's snow and the ground's frozen is most likely like a marshy or boggish area honestly it'd be best to look at the property that you're looking to buy throughout the year just so you can see the actual condition of the land but we have a pretty good idea that this is in fact soggier land Another way that we can tell that that land over there is usable is by the trees that are growing on it. It's quaking aspen trees that are only known to grow on pretty dry sites and in sunny, you know, southern exposure. And there's also birch, so it's not typical of something you'd find on wetland. Oh my god. So we're starting to make our way into the treed part of the property. Looks like there's some bunny rabbit prints. So we're kind of on our own now because his tracks lead straight back to the road and we want to show you and go more into the interior part of the property. This is a beautiful birch tree behind me. We're hoping to tap into these probably in March. We don't have a lot of birch trees on our property where we live. This property mainly has quaking aspen, but there are a few of these really nice birch trees throughout. So beetle kill has made its way down here too. You can see this is a spruce tree and it's not looking so good. That's another big thing for us. We are gonna need a lot of firewood living up here. So we figure with clearing the driveway and the pad for the cabin, we'll get at least 10 cords worth of wood out of here. So that's always awesome. So some of those are aspen trees and they're really tall. There's also trees like this that are broken and damaged and need to be removed. Looks like we have a lot of snow hair action here. So we have a couple options with this property. We are either going to put a cabin out here and sell it down the road, or we're gonna put a cabin out here and have it rented out as a vacation rental. But regardless of either way, this is about where we are gonna cut out kind of our pad for the house and have parking, the area for the cabin and a deck. And that's all gonna be kind of in this vicinity right here. So we're gonna be putting the cabin, the back of it here, the front facing out south, kind of towards the, the meadow and the opening. We'll clear some of these trees out so you have a nice view. We are undecided what we're gonna do for water out here. Our first plan was going to be just a dry cabin with an outhouse and maybe just truck in water. But we found out by coming out here that there is electricity on the property already. So that's a huge plus. That costs a lot of money to do. So we do have options of having electricity run out to the cabin. And we also do have options of putting in our own septic system. I don't think we're going to drill a well. It was way too expensive last time we did it. So we kind of want the driveway to have a slight curve to it for privacy. That way you can't see into the house from the road. And we also thought it'd be cool to kind of line the driveway along the opening. So when you're driving in the driveway, you get the nice view of the meadow over there. So we're going to kind of walk the way that we think the driveway is going to go. It's all hypothetical until summer comes and we can actually start marking trees that are going to get cut down. So this will kind of be the awesome view that we're going to try to shoot for out the front door of the cabin. All right, so that is the basic rundown of the property. How it's gonna go as soon as everything melts, we're gonna start by kind of cutting in where we want our driveway, enough to be able to get our truck and our trailer in here to start hauling wood off. And we're gonna hopefully this summer have accomplished the driveway cutout and the pad around the house cutout. Then from there, we're gonna have to bring in a small excavator, rip up all the stumps, and then put down the pad where we are gonna put our cabin. It's probably gonna be year and a half, two year process, but it's something that we've never done before and we're looking forward to learning a lot from it.